hi thanks for joining me today this is Donna from Clever Crafting so this is a new series that I'm gonna do and it's called crash your stash so what I'm starting with is just some leftover scraps that I've got standard square shapes and um, that a lot of us have already got and some stars so these are actually stitched stars but not that that makes any difference so what I've done is I've used some of those scraps, so those metallic scraps, to cut out some of the stars and I've used the square to cut out the little box down at the bottom. So also as part of those scraps I had that burgundy colour. So I actually used the large piece of scrap that I had and found other colours to match along with it. So I'm just trying a layout there. Um, and now I'm just using some press and seal. Now, if you don't have press and seal, don't panic. You can actually use just like post-it tape or mint tape. But um, I particularly like using um, this product. You can't actually buy it, um, press and seal, in Australian uh, supermarkets. But it is available on eBay. And I believe um, Costco in Australia has it. So... What it does is it enables you to press down on your items like I just did then and lift it up and it's low tack so it just holds them all in place. Now my little box that all my stars will actually be bursting out of, I'm just going to pop that up on that, some craft foam and I, you can see that I have positioned that where I want it on my card front. So this is just a matte card front that I've used uh, the number two die out of the <clears throat> excuse me metric rectangles and I've positioned it so the pot I'm going to call that the pot the little square piece at the bottom is in the right position with my stars so this is just some silver thread that I'm using here now this thread or this cord I believe came with a whole pile of Christmas decorations that I ended up tying up with on my Christmas tree with fishing line so this was just the little bits of thread that were left and I'm using that on my card because as most crafters I can't throw anything away and what you saw me doing at first up was putting glue on it because I wanted to make it a bit stiff and now I'm sticking it down with a little bit of washi tape on the back of the star um, I do in actual fact use some uh, double-sided foam tape on a couple of the stars. You don't actually see me doing that process, but I do do that um, before I stick it onto the card front. So I'm just on the last thread there. It's not really thread, it's kind of string. It's not quite string either. I don't know. What do you call these things? Who knows? Just checking that I'm happy with all of that and using the press and seal leaving it on the press and seal and lining it up going yeah okay that's all happy days that looks good so on my little pod at the bottom I'm going to use some double-sided tape and I'm actually going to cover that whole thing in double-sided tape in hindsight I probably would have been better using a wider double-sided tape instead of doing lots of strips of the thin one but you know the thin one was on my desk so what do you do that's what you use just going to trim that off there I think I cut the first one but I rip all the rest which I cut out because that's pretty, you know, dry stuff. Just ripping off the backing of um, my double-sided tape. I'm going to add some glue. You can notice there, you can see there that a couple of the stars have got some uh, double-sided foam tape on the back. And I'm just using glue so I can move it around a little bit. You know, glue gives you the wiggle room. So that's the smart art glue that I've got in a small pot. And I'm just going to turn this over. And now position it on the front of my card. So this is the big advantage of the press and seal is that you can see right through it and it keeps everything in place. So, you know, for something like this, it's fabulous. All right, I'm just going to press all of those down. And now I'm going to gently remove that press and seal off the back. So as I said, you can do this with post-it note tape um, or low tack tape of some description. And it will work just as well. Um, you could do them all individually. You don't actually have to do it this way at all. You can position, you know, put the string on the back and then position them all and then put the box on top of them. All the strings hanging down the bottom. So I'm just, you can see, gently removing that because it's not all really stuck on my <clears throat> mat piece, but it's very stuck on the uh, press and seal. But none of my paper tore or anything, so that's good. I am just going to remove the backing off 
um, I added an extra piece of, of, you know, like a thicker foam to that one to make it stick up a little bit uh, high. I think I just put a second level of foam tape on it. Okay, so now we're just going to add the greeting. Now this greeting is, I've cut three or four of them and stuck them all on top of one another to give them a bit of depth and use up a little bit more of the scraps that I had left over in that little pile. Just double-sided tape on the back and I've removed, you can see, uh, the backing from two corners so I can line it up. I've put this on a top folding A6 card, so which means I cut an A4 down the length of the A4 right in the middle and folded it in half to give me a top folding card. So of course we normally open them, you know, like a book, so when I give this card out, it's going to confuse the person I give it to. So that's a bit of fun. <laughs> of course, if you're mean like me. <clears throat> All right, so just removing that double-sided tape now. So you'll see in the photos at the end of this that I ended up putting some diamond glaze all over the greeting to make it stand out a little bit more. So there's my finished product. So once again, I really just want to thank you for joining me today. I hope you learned something and that you're inspired to try this process. If you did, I just ask that you give, give me a click on the thumbs up at the bottom of the video because that really, really helps me out. I might also love it if you subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. I have put some links below to help you find the products that I've used today as well as a link to our Facebook group. Please feel free to join and share your creations with us. So until next time, stay safe and happy crafting.